Hey, this is Corey from Trivium, and keep watching The Roman Show. This is The Roman Show. Hey, Rodolfo Roman here, The Roman Show with Corey of Trivium. Thanks so much for taking your time under this heat. You just hit the stage right now. How was that with all this heat? Well, yesterday you were up north of Florida, which is the same, pretty much the same uh, type of temperature. Yeah, we're from Orlando, so uh, this isn't anything unusual, but uh, playing in this heat's a little rough sometimes. It's just uh, still draining, so uh, still sweating. So, uh, yeah, it was a good show, good crowd. So, uh, yeah, now we're just going to hang out for the rest of the day. And, Corey, you, know, you talk about uh, touring. A lot of different bands do different things, like Bring Me the Horizon. They're just working out right now under this heat. What do you guys tend to do uh, when you're on tour? Oh, we do the same. We have uh, workout gear that we bring out and... Uh, when we're doing normal shows and stuff, when we're in cities, um, most of the time we just try to find like good places to go eat. And then after the show, uh, usually me and uh, a couple of our crew guys, we always just kind of, after the show, go try to find like some uh, cool little kind of pub bar and have some drinks before we have to roll out of town. So uh, just kind of do, do a lot of the normal stuff we do at home, you know. So it's, it's pretty, pretty chill. Corey, you talk about, obviously, you guys are from Orlando, like you stated, uh, Trivia. There's those other bands that have from, come from the state, too. Nonpoint's another one down from Miami. Then you had in Tampa, you got some of the death metal bands, the Cannibal Corpse. What is it about Florida with, 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 the, with the rock scene? Um, it's just, uh, it's good. You know, uh, Orlando's always been, you know, being from there, we always have great shows there, great shows in Fort Lauderdale. Whenever we play down there, Apollo, our bass player, lives down there. So that's kind of like a second hometown show. So uh, Florida's just, you know, we have a lot of... Uh, a lot of rock radio stations still here, so it definitely helps with uh, keeping the scene really strong. And uh, you know, a lot of bands just come come touring down here. So you know, there's always some kind of show going on somewhere. So uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, a lot of different types of music that are that come from Florida. So you know, Data remembers from Orlando as well. And uh, you know, obviously you said the death metal bands, and uh, it's just a good scene. Good, good. Uh, I guess good good place to be uh, be from if you're in a, in a band the, new, the album dropped last year a lot of success yeah. it's been I mean the fans you could tell from the reaction from the crowd uh, what, what, has, what have you received from the fans reaction when you hit the scene and what are some of the favorite songs you like to play off that album when you hit the stage oh uh, well in this, these shows we're playing pretty short so there's limited amount of songs you can play but when we headline you know we've been playing a lot of songs from the new record mixing different songs in and out so all the new stuff's a lot of fun to play since we haven't played it a million times so, uh, and also uh, with this new record, you know, we've had a radio single that cracked the top 10. So it's definitely playing a lot of these festivals, having the song reach a lot of people. It's definitely, uh, I guess, uh, expanded our, our reach and um, a lot more people at these shows are familiar with us and heard the name. So a lot more from, uh, recognition, I guess, from uh, people hearing it on the radio. So we play in these shows, you can see a lot of people you know, singing the, the, the song on, that's been on the radio and just kind of just more, more awareness of, of who we are now. So that's definitely been, uh, been a, a, a cool thing to have happen and something we've been, uh, we've been striving to kind of crack for, for the last couple of years is trying try to get, get on uh, active rock in the States and just kind of uh, reach a lot of fans that would like our band that just haven't had a chance to be exposed to us. Looking at your, your, your albums from the beginning, from Ascendancy to now, it just seems how much you guys have evolved. How do you guys work together to work with that creativity? How to evolve what's, what works, what doesn't work, and how do you guys come to, to, to agreement? Because obviously that's one thing as a band, you know, one guy might like this, the other guy might not like that. Uh, we're pretty, uh, I guess the three of us, Matt, Paul, and I, writing songs, we're usually always on the same page. We talk a lot. There's a lot of communication with, you know, directions and stuff, and we, we, uh, we plan ahead. We're very thorough with our creative, uh, I guess, process. Everything from the artwork to the videos. You know, we're very hands-on with what we want to do. And you know, with some bands, you know, it's like we just we just have we have a creative vision, and we strive to you know do that. You know, with this record, we had a specific vision with what we wanted it to do, and we just wrote wrote until we we had the right songs that we felt were the the songs that really. Kind of nailed all the i guess our bullet points of what we wanted to accomplish with the record so you know every record we're just looking to you know we know what our sound is and we know what elements make up our sound and then we're always just pushing ourselves to try to find ways to i guess use all those elements uh to create something fresh and new and not kind of regurgitate our sound too much and uh 
not write the same songs or the same record. We want every record to have a, a uniqueness to it that stands on its own. And, you know, I think so far, you know, having as many records as we do, each record kind of stands alone as its own own thing. And uh, it's really cool. You know, we definitely, uh, we're very, uh, I guess, we have a wide range of uh, types of songs. So we, we uh, try to hit hit all those, those different avenues. You know, we like heavy stuff. We like very melodic, anthemic stuff. So with our sound, we could do a lot of stuff with it that uh, keeps it, you know, at least for us, creativity, you know, creative-wise, you know, we can, uh, every record, it's it's fresh and exciting for us. Thank you so much for your time. I know you got booked out here, and uh, look forward to you guys are on tour and actually with Seven Dust, too. Yeah, yeah, we're doing shows with Seven Dust and uh, during the week, and then the weekend, it's, you know, hot festivals. <laughs> Thanks so much, Corey, and uh, awesome album. Look forward to new music, right, yeah, soon? Awesome. Probably next year. We're touring all year, so... We've been writing, so we got a lot of stuff in the works, but uh, we won't really have the time to go in the studio to really crank it out till sometime next year. So keep an eye out. Thanks, Corey. Awesome. Thanks so much. This is The Roman Show.